Come on, good boy. In the grooming world, you don't know what dog's gonna come through the door. You don't know what customer's gonna come through the door. You don't know what situation you're gonna be in in order to please the customer with this particular dog. Oh, good boy. Come on, good boy. Come on. Wait, good boy. Yes, sir. Come on, man. I sorry. Here we go. Come on. When I saw Danny Bonaduce come in all sweaty and red, I said, oh, crap. Because, you know, that guy's intense. I'm Danny. How are you? Zach. Come here. All right, you got to behave now, OK? Come on. Now, once you're doing this, do you ever actually have the time to do your work on the dogs? Mr. Bonaduce, he's a space cadet. He's like from the constellation Qzar, you know. I don't know what planet that man's on, what oxygen level he's rating at, whatever. He's like got asteroids in his diet or something. Artist, nice to meet you, Danny. Artist, is that your actual name? Yeah, named that for my granddad. Really? Look, my name is Artist, A-R-T-I-S-T, -T, named after my granddad. Let's talk about your dog. What, what do you know about art? What I know about dogs? Uh, I know that dogs No, are... not about dogs, about art. About art? You know what I know about, about art? Art is an expression of the heart that comes out through the hands. Art is the expression the of the soul, of the mind, the body, and the spirit when it's one, and then you express it through the gifts that God gives you. And you're gonna do all that to my dog? Absolutely. I just want him brushed and fleed, man. Good morning. I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Finding out a little bit of extra information about the customers, I thought might give me a little bit of an edge because I related something in my life to their dog. One of the customers had a pink dog, and it was a Maltese. I had a Maltese that I dyed pink. No, shut up. Pink is soft, cotton candy, round. Love him. She doesn't love you. <laughs> Look at you. How old is she? Gabby's two and a half years old. And she has one little attitude problem. Mm -hmm. She's not fond of being brushed. Well. And I have to use a toothbrush on her. Really? A lot of times I don't even just hear their crazy demands. We just sort of work it into my way. I just say, well, that's what the doggy wanted. And that's always been my strategy. If the dog is happy, they're happy. I love you. <laughs> Does the fact that you get to dress like a pirate, is that helpful in your business at all? That you just like, I can dress any way I want? Yeah, I can dress however I want, and people, they don't judge a book by its cover, which is nice. Yar, shiver me timbers. Well, come on in, I'll give your dog a haircut. You want it tight, you want it long, we'll do whatever you want. We've got dog food, we've got toys, yar. I am Jorge. Hi, I'm Sana. The lady with the Pomeranian was very funny. Her breasts were twice the size of each one of their dogs. What I always like better is like, I want to teach you how to keep it in between. And like, so you be, you know, I okay. want them to always look beautiful, not always when they come. These are, yeah, these are my babies. And I'm very, very particular. Do you put them in that noose thing? Of course. They were humongous. <laughs> I like her face to be shown. I like her hair by her eyes trim. I don't like them hanging over. OK. Oh, when the older guy came in with the fat mutt, I was like, this dude is acting like this dog was like best in show, breeder's choice, you know, sponsored by pedigree 16 years in a row. That dog looked like it fell off a truck in a bucket full of mud. You know what I mean? And he's like, well, what would you do for my dog? Like, wash it? Now tell me, what kind of cut do you think she would look good in? Since she's you know, a bit on the wide side and kind of short. I would show my dog fat. No, not fat, just a little, you know, just a little hefty, you know, it's okay. no problem. And, uh, but I would shorten the hair out just to make it look thinner and a little longer. I love pink. Oh, you do? My mobile salon's pink, my poodle's pink. No way. <laughs> You sound like me. <laughs> so when you walked in, I was dying to talk to you. The pink lady. I thought me and her would get along really well in the beginning, but she just saw my nails and freaked. My first concern, I must say, is your nails. She does not like long nails. I love your attitude, but I don't know about the nails. Let me see how she reacts to you. OK. Come here, sweetie. Are you scared, huh? I know, but I love pink dogs. My little poodle's pink. I know you want mama. Wow. I know. OK. Come on. No, I'm Hi, I'm Jorge. How nice are you? you? When Danny approached me with his German Shepherd, since I groom a lot of celebrities, I felt very comfortable. The first thing I noticed is the hand sanitizer. Do you sanitize Safety. your hands after Safety. each dog? Safety is my number one priority. But you actually sanitize your hands for the health of the dogs, not the health of yourself. For the health of the dogs, because when you touch a dog mouth, if, the, if somebody else's dog has something, I will pass it to you. I'm touching every dog. Michelle, man. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Hi, how are you? 
Oh. I think Melissa was probably the more shaken up by him just because she got shaken up very easily. <laughs> just for the time that take her to understand things. Do you think your physical strength can, can handle a dog like Duke's? I'm the big dog girl in, in the dog grooming business. Really? They like me to handle them. Hey man, I ride a motorcycle. A real motorcycle, like a cruiser, you know? Like I'm not just any ordinary young, or yeah, I'm young, but I'm not a, a, a weak girl. I would show him to just because <laughs> these dogs. You are the big dog girl, aren't you? Hi, how are you? I'm John. Hi, uh, before you touch him, I just no, it's fine. he doesn't like men, so okay. he might snap. Okay. So this morning. Okay. He, okay. Um, Did he have a bad experience? I don't know. He's just, he really just likes me, okay. but in okay. particular. Okay. <laughs> I really don't think her dog had a problem with men. Uh, I think maybe she had a problem with men and didn't want me grooming her dog. Do you have experience coloring dogs? Um, very little experience. Um, we don't run into too many uh, dogs that get color. Do you have animals? I do. I have three cats, a fish, and a bunny. Are you against real animals? <laughs> no, I live in an apartment, and I think it's unfair to put a dog in a small, yardless place. Uh, that's a reasonable answer. I agree with you. I have two toy poodles. Do you ever put them in clothes? Very plain sweaters, like a solid color black or something like that. Nothing like with rhinestones or anything. You realize there's no such thing as an animal who's dressed as a human that's considered plain. Poodles have a very thin coat, and in New York City winters, if I was taking them out, they actually start to shiver. They won't go outside without a sweater. So you do it for the safety of the dog, not, Absolutely. not the fashion statement, not this no. is my poodle, this is his sweater, these are his little booties, none of that. No, 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 no. It's, a, it's purely a, this is for the safety of the dog, it's too cold, and they won't do their business, which is, I'm sure, what you're taking them out right. for. Right, absolutely. The truth is, I put lots of sweaters on, and coats and rhinestone necklaces, and I dive them. Oh, OK. I told him what he wanted to hear because I wanted to win. What kind of collar would you put him in? He's a protection dog? Yes. Um, something tight-fitting that people can't grab. Very smart. That's yeah. a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> he seems to like you. That's a good start. I have extreme talent with this kind of coat someone that has actually worked and shown a German Shepherd, I know for a fact I can make your friend look absolutely fantastic. How? First thing I would do with Dukes, I would get him in a tub and I'd wash that coat. OK. I want to get that hair off of there. You don't want it on your couch. You don't want it all over your house. OK. Well, you're not selling me my dog. <laughs> I, already, I already got the dog. I love the dog. You what should. makes you the groomer for my dog? If he needs a break, I'm going to give him a break. You read the expressions on the dog's I'll face. Read the expressions of the dog. And you'll know my dog's, I've had enough for right now. I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill out. That's right. Can you do that with human beings? Can you tell my personal feelings about you? Well, I'm hoping you're liking me right now. You know what? I don't think this guy likes me. This is Kisses. Kisses? Say hi, Kisses. Hey, Kisses. Can the I dog came in pink. I thought that was just hideous. I mean, the dog's colorblind. You know, the dog doesn't know he's pink. He just knows, you know, you got some weird stuff on him, you know, because it tastes funny. OK, so artist, how long have you been grooming? You look awfully young. Four years. And yes, Four I years. am young. Yeah. But okay. then she started talking about my age. And I knew that she was not voting my favorite. So that's why I just gave her a kiss. I was like, what the heck? Let me get something out of it. Hey, her name is Kisses. She'll kiss you. Kisses a kiss? Kiss a kiss. Kevin, kiss. Oh, yeah, oh there we go. Oh, I can kiss you, too. She likes you. All Thank right. You. <laughs> <laughs> her breath stunk.